Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your 12 month <clears throat> or your 12 zodiac um, love reading. So the bottom of the deck will be your overall energy um, and then each card will be for each zodiac. Then I will do a second spread with a three month prediction at the end. So Virgos, Virgos energy card. All right. All right, Virgos, you guys, um, fancy that you guys are in a state of confusion, um, not knowing what way to go, not knowing which way to turn, um, lacking clarity to a situation. If you guys are dealing with an Aries, you guys are coming to the end of a cycle. You're closing the door with this person and you're confused to why this connection ended or, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Uh, this is coming to an end though. I do not see this relationship lasting through the end of the year. Taurus, the queen of Pentacles in reverse. So Virgo, if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, you guys are confused about the situation. You're not sure what to do. Um, this person is ungrounded, uh, no longer wanting to invest in a relationship. Um, this confusion has caused their world to flip upside down. Um, they could be focused on the, the ending of this relationship instead of things that they should be focused on. Um, they're worried about their finances also with this relationship ending. Um, if this relationship ends, I should say, uh, I see this going both ways uh, through the end of the year. Um, it, it just all depends um, on which group that you are in. Uh, Gemini, you guys have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So if you are a Virgo dealing with a Gemini, you are confused. Um, this cycle is coming to an end soon. Um, it's not quite there yet. Somebody... Um, this person was betrayed by you, Virgo. Um, yeah, there was some deceit in here, some <coughs> behind the back uh, hurt going on. And you are not wanting to come clean with the truth um, or to um, own up to what you did. Cancer, you have the justice in reverse. So Virgo, if you're dealing with a cancer, you are, um, the karmic scales are out of balance here. You need to um, approach the situation and, and quit running from it. This is holding off on an ending of a relationship, of a marriage as well. Um, you're fearing the unknown with if you go through this divorce. Or the ending of a commitment. Leo, you guys have the alchemist. And you just had this in your reading. So um, there's some uh, illusions going on here. You're trying to make this Virgo. Leo is trying to make Virgo believe something that is not real. Um. And that's what's causing Virgo to be so confused. You're kind of living in a fog right now, Virgo, because you can't see anything clearly because your partner is um, yeah. They're just living in a state of illusion. Virgo, if you're dealing with another Virgo, you guys are working um, together, working hard on this connection. Um, financial prosperity is coming between the two of you because all of the hard work you've put in. Um, this will be successful. I see this going through to the end of the year. Libra, if you're dealing with a Libra, they are coming out of a time of um, silence, a time of separation from you. They are enlightened to the connection and they will come forward with, uh, with what they have been awakened to. They're waiting for you to tell them the truth about something, though, Virgo. Um, you're kind of choosing to put the blinders on with this one. So I just, uh, wait a minute, where was I? Libra, Scorpio. You guys. 
yeah, there's some confusion around um, a foundation, around a home, um, something that you two have built together. Uh, Scorpio, however, um, they don't doubt this connection. They don't doubt the... The home that you guys have built together, they will continue to fight for this. Um, and you, they will see you through this time of not knowing what you want, not knowing where, what direction to go in. This will become, this will be a successful connection and it will go through the first of the year, um, without a doubt. Sagittarius, they have the emperor in reverse, so they are out of balance, um, could be saying harsh words to each other, uh, arguing. Um, this person is, they, they their world is kind of turned upside down with this connection. Um, yeah, they need to find balance and you need to find clarity if this relationship were to work out. Um, if you both put in the healing work, I do see this going through the first of the year. The Prince of Cups for Capricorn, they're going to make you an offer and this offer is going to just leave you in a state of pure confusion. It came out of nowhere. You didn't even see this offer coming. I do see you accepting this offer for some of you and it will be a successful connection, but you need to be um, honest with yourself about what it is that, that you want and what direction you're going. That one, that relationship will be successful is also Aquarius. If you're connecting with an Aquarius, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So uh, Virgo, your person is drained, no longer emotionally satisfied um, with the connection. They, uh, yeah, there could be kids involved as well, but I do see this relationship ending within the next 10 weeks um, from today. And Pisces, the Six of Pentacles. So they're um, sharing their energy with somebody other than you, whether that be at work, family, friends, um, somebody else. Something is getting their um, energy uh, alongside you. So they're not putting in as much as you are, and that's what's leaving you confused. Um, yeah, this relationship, there's there's not an equal give and take. I don't see it ending, or I don't see it lasting um, through the first of the year. Yeah. And that will become very clear to you, um, in the next six weeks when the energy shifts, um, into the next new moon or yeah, the next new moon, you will, you will see this, you will come out of that confusion and see what this connection, um, means to, uh, this group of people. Okay, and the next one, um, Virgo, you will be the first card. The person you're connecting with will be the second. The third is your third energy, and the bottom of the deck will be your three month prediction card. All right, Virgo. Oh, geez. <laughs> Here's the Ace of Swords again. So. At least you know you're going to find the truth. At least you know how things are going to become clear to you um, one way or another. <laughs> you guys are the empress. The person you're connecting with is the prince of cups in reverse. And your guys' shared energy is justice. So, um, Virgo, you guys are wanting to start something new. Create something. Get something off the ground. A connection. Um you just want a new beginning. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus as well, but this is your energy. So this is something that you really believe in that you want to um, move forward with. The person that you um, are wanting or dealing with, they are not coming forward just yet. Um, this is somebody that you could have broke their heart in the past and they're hesitant to give you their cup. Um, they're not quite sure um, whether they want to or not. The other uh, scenario I am seeing is that you are dealing with a Taurus with water in their chart. Um, you wanted this relationship to 
to thrive, to be successful. Um, but uh, there could have been a mistress. With the empress, there's a mistress um, for this reading. This caused your partner to be emotionally drained, hurt, betrayed. Um, they just don't think that they can um, recover from this or move on past this. Um, yeah. Uh, your shared energy. I do see uh, this relationship ending in a divorce. Uh, in the time of Libra, I do see you guys filing. So that's September 23rd through October 22nd. I do see you guys filing for divorce for this group of you. Um, and your prediction card, by the end of the year, you will see clearly, you will be awoken to the truth. You will see your clear path after you get through this karmic um, relationship and the scales balance. You will then find clarity. That is so awesome. The first reading I did, you guys were confused. Um, but you are finding the truth. You are finding the way. You're finding your path, the way you're meant to go. And um, the, the next card underneath that is... Uh, judgment. So after you divorce this person or this, you know, the divorce happens, you're going to clearly know what path to take. And in that the universe is going to bring you back a second chance with somebody from your past, whether it be this life or lifetimes before, either way, it is found with a new beginning based on truth, clarity, a solid foundation and a universe, uh, relationship is blessed by the universe. So Virgo, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, you guys have good energy going on right now. Um, so I hope that you have a good rest of the three months with this prediction. And I hope you liked your reading. As always, love, light, and God.